Even when realizing that the Amanda show has ended its run 20 years ago, the adventure continues. <laughs> are, we go are we going to the Amanda show? Or did we already pass that last episode? Oh, no, no, no. We haven't done that yet. But we will in this part of Spyro Reignited Trilogy. <gasps> also, if so, I could just... If I, if I could just say, I really do not understand, like, Ow. this Devil Damn World on the slightest. Because in the span of 20 minutes, our kitten turned into a Pichu. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, Jordy's taking a break. Hey, see you, the... Pichu! Hello. Aww. My heart stops every time when I hear it. Hey there, Seely. Welcome to Magic Crafters. Glad to be here. With a game with high, fast speed charging... <laughs> and time to go oh, flying! Okay, I'm going there. <laughs> Just again, I think we were talking about it earlier. I would love if, like, when you were rescuing the dragon, you didn't stop in time and just boom! Just, and just yeah. shatters of wow. crystals everywhere. And Spyro's just like. Speaking of crystals. Oh. Nice timing. <laughs> so, um, Seely, what you're seeing right here is what technically the game wants you to, wants to be your very first flight level, but considering the fact that I've been able to figure out the secrets for the past two worlds, this is technically our third. Oh, wow. It, th thus, it's easy, like one of the easier ones. <laughs> oh, and no. there you see me for, not oh, see me completely <laughs> neglecting that fairy that was pointing to the right. No. Thanks, Matthew. <laughs> I want to be uh, rebellious. But still, I like these little. I like the variety that this game had with its different challenges. And, and yeah. like, again, I will definitely give Crash the like immediate like satisfaction some of its arcadey levels. But I always love Spyro's like free roaming, like just. For the for the time that the, the technology came out, how free oh, 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 rats. Rats. <laughs> but how but how yeah, freely you could roam but how freely you could roam around <laughs> the place is just so nice. <laughs> oh jeez. I mean, um, when, it nice. when, when it when it when it comes right down to it, Crash Crash always succeeded more at just having more having more stellar um, stellar um, uh, fast pacing. pacing. Level fast, design and stellar, ambition. fast paced. Uh, just, just, it's just being a really damn good, well, platformer in general. Whereas, but whereas, where, that really relied on finesse. Whereas Spyro here was a little more free, free form, which set him apart. Mm -hmm. from the mm. And yeah, they've taken full advantage of that with the uh, Reignite trilogy. Yeah. Well, yeah, but both games, like mm -hmm. both games, like I think it's easy enough to, I think it's easily enough to distinguish. But like both games have like are very differently paced. Crash, Crash right. is like. Is much more faster paced trying to get to the end, especially in those racing levels. Honestly, it's so much faster the more paced, I think but... about it, Crash Bandicoot is, is, in essence, is just a 3D Donkey Kong Country. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Whereas, but... whereas with uh, like Super Mario 64 or Spyro, you're oh. expected to take your time a bit more and like no check mind. out the place. Pay, pay no mind to the dragon phasing through the fairy like that. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, I'm likely Speaking... having seen a peak. <laughs> Speaking of the fairy, I meant to ask this in the last part, but I forget. Have any of you guys once, either in the original game or reignited? Made it kind of like a self challenge to see how long you can go without the fairy's little orb hitting you. <laughs> I have uh, not. So also, one up challenge. Yeah, is, is there like a green devil challenge with the orbs? Well, I don't know. Just talking about like when you get to the fairy and she like get she like is a checkpoint. She like zaps you. Like try to see how long you can. Go oh, um, actually, hold on, real quick. Hi, welcome to the Amanda Show. Oh. In Why is this the Amanda show again? When the, the music composer. kicks when, when the music oh. kicks in, it's gonna be the Amanda. Oh. It's gonna be the same theme as the. Yeah. In particular, when the music kicks in, we'll let you know. The music is gonna be basically the credits theme from the Amanda show. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Now. We'll same let you know when it too. kicks in. Uh, Stuart Copeland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Stuart Copeland. Oh, okay. Hmm. Which nope. is funny because, like, for the longest time, up until the Green Night Trilogy came around, um, I noticed that particular playthroughs with um. Spot with the original Spiral always got a copyright claim right when you get to Wizard Peak because again it's the badge it's the Amanda Show theme. Huh. I I don't even remember the Amanda it, Show. It's when theme. it's when the hype it's when the high pitch piano kicks in that I remember. Oh hey Jarvis, he's got like a beak. Yeah. Hmm. Why weren't you working with Tony? Marvel joke. He takes a bow. Indeed. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, it's this here with the piano keys I remember from the Amanda show. Yeah. Oop. I mean, honestly, I honestly I just think it's such a, a funny coincidence that like this like just out on a whim like Stewart just like okay you can use this theme you can use this theme we I put in the game about purple dragon for your credits theme. Yeah. And they're like, eh, we don't care. It's just for some like stuck up like celebrity daughter Bimbo. that wants to be in the show. <laughs> Has Amanda Bynes been anything other than a police record lately? Uh, no idea. Not as well, I, I really don't know. Well, I've heard she was getting better as of recently. 
That's, That's well, let's I mean, look her up. I remember again. I think one of the one of the greatest Whoop. like what? Oh jeez. Oh, oh fun. No. I remember one of the greatest like redemptions I've seen in a while was the one that Macaulay Culkin made. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When like he, how, when he like, he's, yeah. Like he's cleaned up. He's been appearing. He, he looks not. He, he looks so much better. Like compared to that. <laughs> remember that one photo that a couple years ago was just spreading all over the place. And, yeah. Like, yeah. Kinda. It's yeah. Like, it's, and, and yeah, and it's just funny to me because of all things now, Macaulay Culkin is the executive producer of that one Toe Jam and Earl game we did a while back. I know. Yeah. Is he really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. We showed we showed that off on the credits and everything. It's like okay, I, I love I, like I wasn't aware. Nice. I love that just the tone in your voice. It's like I suddenly have an interest in this game. Now. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. no, I mean but I'm it's... still not interested in the game, but I'm, in, I'm but it's Stop. not. Yeah, I remember that. That was fun. I also remember. I remember. I remember that. I don't know if you saw. But there was this really cute like commercial he did around Christmas time. For oh, the Go Home. home. Yes, I remember that. Or is this Home Alone? Basically, it was. I don't know. Just, just I, again, it's so nice to see him clean up and like it's never too late kind of a thing. He also did yeah. an episode with Angry Video Game Nerd too with the Home Alone game. Yeah, that's. Oh, the, he, that's that what was I great. Oh. He's. Uh, he also. Uh, he also. He actually just. He was in the last month's episode. Hang on, Hexus. Hexus. Not that guy. Different Hexus. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a bed, Kane. Spyro. Thank you for releasing me. Uh, You're no problem. welcome. Got any advice? No. Now no. I'm off to write Burn Gully. Hey. I was about to say, you got any advice for me? Yes, drink milk and stay in school. Oh. <laughs> drink school and stay in milk. I was about to say, you got that wrong, Ellie. That name is not the person of who wrote from Gully, Fern Gully. The name of the person that destroyed Fern Gully. Oh. Right, different guy. I was thinking, I'm sorry, I was thinking of, so sorry, it's a horrible joke, because I, I believe it, it's true, but it's just so funny now out of context still. Oops. You got any advice for us? <laughs> Vaccinate your children! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you got all the eggs! That's nice! Yeah, that's, yeah. Nice. Huh. Yeah, that, yeah. that's a reference from, like, Alice. Well, the, the, aside from the advice itself, I guess he's still really amused by that bit of Pumbaa that I was It's just out of context. And there's, again, a, there's again an example of Sparks not doing his job sometimes with these gems is like, hit detection, I swear. Oh, yeah. Again, again, yeah. it's just the exception rather than the rule. And speaking yeah, of yeah. Amanda Bunch, nice. she's been on an indefinite hiatus from acting. She's off the Ow. radar. Dang. Oh, dang. Since but yeah, yeah, as for 2010. Cloak, yeah, as for... Oh, oh dang. Yeah, as for Macaulay Culkin, uh, oh, hang on. Oh, hold what on is a second. It, this is actually one of my favorite dragon designs right here. Oh, oh look at oh, that. Oh, my... Whoa. There's a secret area in the artisan's home world near the waterfall. God, I love how he's Try jumping on the stones map. there. The he area. looks like a map maker. He does. He already did it. He's got an atlas. And also, <laughs> also yeah. that sphere in between his horns. You can't tell me that doesn't look like the, does. the treasure planet. Treasure map. map. It does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it it really does. does. Sorry, back to you, back to you, James. But yeah, that's the dragon that gives you the hint on how to get to the very first flight level back in Artisans. Ah. Right. But, but, that, but that was so cool. It was almost like his horns were like magnetic and were like keeping the yeah. thing suspended. It. Okay. Anyway, let's go get the supercharger. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, so anyway, he was he, he was in last month's episode, and he was in another episode a couple months ago. Of uh, there's this group called Red Letter Media that have yes. this really fun series called Best of the Worst where they find a bunch of dumb B-rated like VHS tapes and watch them. Like it could be instructional videos, it could be really lame movies. Oh, ow. Jesus. But but um but yeah, McCulloch Culkin's guest starred as a commentator on a couple of them. There's there's been some fun nice. episodes. Mm. Wasn't he wasn't he on um wasn't he on the um, Angry Video Game Nerd at one point? Oh, yeah, yeah, I mentioned that. Yeah, I mentioned that a little yeah, I mentioned that a few minutes ago. Oh, He's a great, it was, it's it was okay. a fun one. Oh, was a little too trans gazed at what I'm watching. Here. It's, it's okay. okay. Also, also, I don't like this level for one thing. James is about to find out. There's a whole secret area back in that first place we have to go climbing up around now. Uh, yeah. This is where this is gonna be moving onward. This is gonna be where the levels are gonna start. I, I have to applaud them. <clears throat> They're finding ways to jam pack these levels full, but. At the same time, like, it gets a little tricky. Thank God for the Sparks power-up. I'll say. <laughs> so, how are you doing, sis? I'm doing okay. I had kind of a rough day earlier, but I'm okay now. I can hear my mom That's screaming good. in the background. I'm sorry, Celia. For a moment, I thought, thought you said you were going through a rough date. <laughs> <laughs> no. Somebody didn't buy me flowers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, you caught me. I was cheating on Logan. No! Oh, no. no, actually, the, totally the, exposed. Actually, 
Actually, the direction I was gonna go with was, all right, little sis, tell me what Logan did to you this time. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> that's, that's not, horrible. Please do not, please do not even try to make allegations <laughs> like that. So well, all on Twitter I is. I would never, I would never cheat on my ride shoe. Hey. Aww. <laughs> so, any who's in. I mean, but, but Magic Crafter, uh, just because so, we're about to end it, so, just because we're going to end it, Magic Crafters is, I think, one of my favorite, like, hub areas, like, the worlds. Like, the worlds are just so nice and, like, pretty, like, solid all throughout. Mm-hmm. I'll agree. Mm -hmm. They definitely look it. It's very magical. Uh, I, cool. I mean, I guess I should say, Peacekeepers was okay with all the desert stuff, but I feel like these worlds just really, like, really, like, um, complement Spyro's color palette. Yeah. He's so bright in contrast, and this is so mellow and nice. Oh yeah, I almost, I almost, I, you know what? It, you know what? It kind of reminds me. Um, remember? Would you believe that there was going to be a point where Spire was going to be green? Huh? <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they yeah. changed really? it because they changed. He was originally going to be green, but they changed it because he figured they figured he blended too well with the grassy areas he would run around oh, in. Oh, yeah. that's fair. Well, and purple well, really does stand out as a color. And I was going to oh, yeah. say, purple is the negative color of green. Yeah, especially right. with the orange, like especially with the orange, like horns and wings. Oh, you like, know what? Accents. Mm -hmm. Like, if that is true, like purple being the negative of green, it really does explain the wavasary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Kind of does. Is it, is it pink that's the negative, or is it purple? I think it's purple. I have to look at my color wheel. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to do the negative on pad hand. on your iPhone. No. You just have it on hand. No, it's the complementary color. Oh, so no, it is the negative I mean, yeah. color, green. green. It is. I just checked well, on my phone because my Hulu app was green and turned purple. Oh, it's worth a shot. Oh, James, no. Wait. Wait, so I was right? Yes, you were right. Oh, okay. James, you fool. He had 70 alternative. Okay. And I thought, and but no, you but, died. But, also, but no, in all seriousness, yeah, I remember I, I remember orange is the compliment to blue because, like, I think I saw this video. Yeah, about it is. You're right. Blue and orange yeah. sprites. I guess I would explain. I guess that would explain uh, that one alternate co color that Crash has in um, CTR Nitro Field, where he's oh, yeah, yeah. A, a blue cocaina. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, that... Do you think? Do you, do you think we'll get a green alt skin for Spyro in that? I would not be surprised. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think there's a cheat for that. Oh yeah. Oh, here, yeah. We're talking about CTR. Oh yeah, right now you can pretty much color him just about any color of the rainbow and give him sunglasses. I will do, which we'll be showing that off later for the sequel. When he brought that up, he was more so talking about when Spyro's gonna be appearing in Nitro Kart during that um, Spyro Grand Prix. Mm. Oh no, just you know, it's it just it's still it's still well, it's still it still makes the whole thing of well the cheat codes of this game all the more relevant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, now that we're now that we've pretty much cleared every other level, it's time to go take out a blowhard. Oh, and actually, you know what? Just this will be the last time I bring it up in this video. Uh, I stress in this video. But you know, that is one thing that Nitro Field should, would really benefit from if it kept all those PS1 cheat codes so I don't have to go through the TDM time I went through to get Entropy. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sounded so hopeful. I mean, if they, get, if they already had a cheat code for Penta Penguin and being being allowed to have every race just be one lap, uh, you can still get an Entropy cheat. It's time mm -hmm. to confront Blowhard. Oh. Yep, because they were, because, you know, this is back... This is this is Insomniac we were talking about. Their 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 deal with subtlety is practically next to none. Especially with the Ratchet yeah. and Clank games. Uh, oh, so absolutely. I still I since they so unlike I'm just saying I still would very much now that I'm with now that I'm done with Spider with Spider Man I would very much like a new Ratchet and Clank game. Yeah, they nice. tried to, <laughs> but then they made a movie. Well, no, yeah. but then they made a game based on the movie, and it did even great. It was great. It was like a well, rated C for like, me. If I could just go... Well, first off, uh, Mally, he was talking about the game movie, not the movie itself. And second off, just going back to what we were talking about with Ratchet and Windows, what's even funny is that, like, there was a time when they kind of stopped doing that, but I remember just, like, some of the, like, concept names for it. Like, for example, um, a Crack in Time, <laughs> it was originally meant to be called Clockbusters. <laughs> clock, clock Blockers, I mean. Clock, yeah, Clock, clock Blockers. blockers. <laughs> Austin's are didn't go with Clockbusters. They have so much. They have so much fun trying to be like, how far? How far can we go? Yeah, how far go ahead, can I. we go with this? I love. And them. I remember all. F I remember all for one was originally called Foursome. Ah, so, oh, this guy's cool. Oh, mm -hmm. He's got a little planet of stairs. No and his eyes, his glasses are cool. And, uh, neither do I. Mm -hmm. 
Who are you again? <laughs> um, I'm out of here. Hi, I'm out of here. I'm your grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> he actually sounded a little bit like Bill Farmer there. I heard I that, yeah. I can hear that. I don't think it was Bill, though, but I mean... Probably not. I wonder if Bill did lend his voice to this game. I, 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 I don't think he did. Oh, you well. know what? It just going just going ahead a few games, but had they not have gone Tom Kenny back for this game, I would not be upset if they got Bill Farmer to be the professor. Hmm. I can see that. I'm oh, just I am just saying, just for this game, they have eighty dragons. They could have had like one just one of them, just as a like little goof, have one of the magic crafters be Charles Martinet. Uh, yes. Honest, honestly, Logan, I thought you I thought what you were gonna say is you have one of the dragons be Bill Farmer and I would have said, Oh, I, I caught what you shit did there. No, but no, it was completely unintentional. So you know, well, I, but I was talking. I was talking. I was just talking about having just as like a stupid Easter egg that no one but us would really appreciate. But having one dragon who just it, not named it because they have to keep the names. But just one dragon who sounds like Sir Red Sir Dr whatever dragon. Sir Dr Sir Drayson. Yeah, just having oh, one yeah. dragon whose voice sounds like him. You know I would what love one? To see that. You know what one vocal Easter egg I think would be pretty neat if one of the dragons that Spyro rescued in this game was voiced by um, Carlos, the last name I cannot remember. The guy that originally voiced him in the original version. Oh, so Ro oh Rocco. Yeah, Rocco. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, that would have been pretty interesting. And and it's funny that we say Rocco because his replacement was Heifer. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, Heifer. Why, why did you take my job? Well, you see, <laughs> Rocco, you, you can't put me on the table. <laughs> what? I don't, know, I don't even know. You know, Heffa, I'm suddenly in the mood for steaks now. Oh, oh. really? Where are we going? Oh. oh, really? Where are we going? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and, and from that day on, Rocco became the blowhard. Oh. And you know what? Just you know what? That just reminds me of back when me and Logan used to go back and forth with thinking of things the same. Rocco's voice, you know, it's like, Heffa, do you know why I prefer to use knives instead of guns? It just we just kept <laughs> quoting like Nolan Batman movies. It was just so like un it was so unfitting and so funny at the same time. Heffa, do you know where I got these scars? Oh no! Oh hey, God, no! Hey, 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 Heffa! I can't freaking I don't even know what to say anymore. Hey, Heffa, hey. close your eyes. Okay. Hey, 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 Heffa! I, I don't, I don't want to kill you. What would I be? What would I do without you? I don't know, I'm just saying random quotes. <laughs> we're leaving Magic Crafters now. It was a great world. We're going now to we're just going down to a bayou now. Yep, we're hmm. going right off to Peacemakers. We're, we're apparently going the, down we're... to the deep south. Hey yeah. Yeah, so let this be a thing here. Amongst the dra amongst the dragon kind, there's a kind of dragons that make, well, beasts. The same kind of beasts we've been killing throughout this entire fucking game. Joy. Oh. Wow. Well. Now, granted, they're not the same kind. Granted, for all, I mean, it's pretty obvious that these are be the beasts we've been killing aren't made from them. They're well, they're minions of nasty nook. But honestly, it's still kind of funny to think back on. But yeah, welcome to Beastmakers. Interesting. What dump? It's all green and green. <laughs> and a chicken. And, oh no! And, and a muck. The chicken. And that chick. And that chicken was clearly destroying the scenery. I guess so. Yeah. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, see you all next time for Beastmakers. Bye. Bye bye. Not to be confused with Beastmasters. But um, Tiss. Y'all.